My name is James, and in my free time, I am a dungeon master. I've played all sorts of games for 25 years. Pathfinder, Dungeons & Dragons, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th edition. You can get to play first. Um, and usually, I'm the dungeon master. Recently, I was playing with some friends that have never played Dungeons & Dragons before. They don't play role-playing games. They play board games. They play card games like Magic Gathering and such. And they play video games. But never anything that is a tabletop role-playing game. It's their first experience. Put together a, a short one for them because they wanted to play. They wanted to have checked off that box that I've given it a try. And they had a blast with it. One of them went home and he told his daughter, hey, I went over to James' house and I played Dungeons & Dragons. She asked her dad, hey, dad, can you be the dungeon master for us and play it? They got the box set. He was looking at it and he's going, oh, God, this is a lot. Um, and he called me up and said, James, I've got questions. I said, sure, what do you got for me? He said, okay, so I have some rules questions, but how do you... DM, how do you know which monsters to use? How do you know when you've got too many monsters? How do you know what the NPC is going to say? How do you know um, how to ride a dungeon? How do you make sure that they go to X instead of Y? How did you know that we would do this instead of that? How did you prepare? What if we didn't do that? How would you know that? How would you... Blah, blah, blah? Um, this is a lot. And I learned that stuff by watching my friend. It's just kind of knowledge that you gathered without knowing you were gathering it. And my friend Gav got it because he was watching his older brother do it. And his older brother, I'm sure, was watching his friend do it. It's just this knowledge that we've kind of passed down and we've adapted from everywhere. A lot of it comes from uh, fantasy movies and reading fantasy books. And just kind of absorbing that too and going, okay, I understand how fantasies are written. I know what an elf is. I know what a drow is because I read Ari Salvatore. Um, I know what a uh, red dragon is supposed to behave like because I've seen smog. And even if you reject that, and you go, I don't want my dragon to be like smog, you have made a conscious choice because you've seen smog or read about smog. And you're going, if smog behaves this way, my dragon's going to behave that way. But if you don't have smog as a starting point, what's a red dragon behave like? How do you know what it's supposed to do? So I'm going to try to help. This channel is going to be about playing Dungeons and Dragons. We're going to have a bunch of dungeons here. So if you're an old dungeon master that's done this for a while, just looking for some new dungeons, some new maps, great. Go right ahead. Steal them, cut them, paste them, chop them all up, get them to something that you want to use and go right on your way. Hopefully I've got some stuff that you can use. Hopefully like talking about it with someone and hearing somebody's thoughts on it will clarify some thoughts for you. Or maybe think about things in a different way or go, that guy's nuts and I'm totally doing it a different way, in which case I still succeeded. So ha. Um, but we're going to start off with a dungeon.